What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. Today we are going to continue with the custom classes from last week by adding in a console command to change your class as well as respawn with that new class loadout. But before we get started we want to go ahead open up our init con commands as well as our test HUD files. So go ahead and get all of those open and let's begin with our test HUD.lua file. Since we are going to be using different values for the player's health, instead of just having it as 110 for that default, we are also going to be having, for our custom class, we're going to have 110. And the way it's currently set up, it will not work, and then that bar will not accurately represent how much health we have left. So in order to fix this, within our testHUD.lua file, we want to create a new variable, and we can create it just right underneath this if statement called local health with and we're just going to set this equal to client colon health that'll get that player's current health and we want to divide that by client colon get max health and this will go ahead and like the function says it'll go and get their max health so for our custom class it will be set to a value of 110 so whatever that player's current health is it'll divide that by 110 and with that, we want to multiply it by 100. And this will go ahead, give us a value between 0 and 100. So our health bar will always continue to be displayed properly. Now with that function or with that variable created, we want to go about replacing the first value within these two math.clamp functions. And we just want to replace this part here, the client colon health part, with our new health with variable in order to accurately represent the health when the value is greater than or less than 100. Now that is all we're going to need to do in this file, so let's head on over to the init file to create a new function that will go and update some attributes of the player based off of their current class. So right at the top, above the player initial spawn function, let's create a new function called function gm colon player spawn, and this will take in a single argument which will be a player then end it. And once again, we want to right off the bat, grab the player's current class. So local player class equals player underscore classes. And remember, this will go ahead, grab that table from our custom underscore classes dot Lua file, this one right here. And from there, we want to grab the networked integer player colon get nwint we want to grab that player class networked integer. And now with that class, we can go ahead and set a couple of attributes here. So we've already done the weapons and the model. So we just need to go about setting the health, the walk speed, and also that run speed. So let's do that. We need player colon set max health. This will be set to player class dot health. Player colon set health will again be player class dot health and this player class is coming from right here this health variable is coming from right here depending on what class they have it will grab either or and then we need the walk speed so player colon set walk speed this will be set to player class dot walk speed once again that will be grabbed from our, our custom underscore classes config this guy right here. And then lastly, we want to set that run speed. So player colon set run speed to player class dot run speed. After we set the run speed, we want to go ahead and strip the player's current weapons so we can get rid of the current classes loadout and make room for the new classes loadout. So we do this by doing player colon strip weapons like so. And then after that, we want to use hook.call to call both our player loadout and player set model function. So hook.call player loadout takes in game mode and player. And once again, hook.call, but this time for player set model function. And again, takes in game mode and a player. And now the reason we're using hook.call here is because whenever we go about making our own player spawn function like we are here, 
these two functions will not be called anymore by themselves. So we need to go ahead and manually do that using hook.call like we are here. And after that, we need to head down to our player set model function. And whenever we change the model, we want to also do player colon setup hands so we can get the correct hands for that model that we are set to. So save that. And with that done, we can head on over to our con commands.lua file and create that console command to change our class from within game. So we will call this function set player class takes in three arguments, a player, the command, and the arguments. The first thing we want to do in here is update or set the player class value. So player colon set nwint player class. And we want to set this to the value being passed in as an as the first argument. So we will do two number args one to get that first argument. And that right there will set our player class to whatever value is being passed in. And then we just want to respawn the player using player colon spawn. And last, we want to add this function as a console command. So con command dot add. This will take in two arguments, the alias for the command. So I will set this to set underscore player underscore class. And then the second argument will be the function that we want to be called whenever this console command is executed. And this will be the set player class we just created above. So whenever this console command is run and an argument and an argument is passed in, it will go through, set the player class to the value being passed in. If it's passed in a one, that custom class will be changed to the default. If it's set to two, the custom class or the class will be set to our custom class here. Now with all of that done, we can head on into game and test this out. Currently we have two classes and our current class is set to one or the default. So let's go ahead and change our class from the console using our brand new console command, set underscore player underscore class. And let's set it to our custom class by passing in the number two as our first argument. So when we do that, we press enter. We should get no errors. And when we get out of that, our character will respawn and as you can see, we spawn with the SMG now instead of that pistol. And also if I go about killing myself, you can see that our model is still changing and our hands are also correctly set. Change the class back to one. And once again, loadout changes, hands are correctly set up for the model we're set to. With all of that working properly, that will conclude this episode. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.